Let's talk love with Bologi Steven. I like that. Don't you guys like that? Hi guys, let's talk love with Bologi Steven. Eh. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys are here, especially with the whole revamp and the new direction that we're taking on this channel. I'm so glad that you're here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you obviously missed last week's video, so I think you should go back and just check it so you know that this channel is taking a new but really exciting direction and we will jump right into it today i'm going to be just thinking about my five biggest relationship mistakes yeah we're going straight into the deep end yes i said last week that i would be sharing some of my personal stories and journeys with you guys and it's not just because i want to come on here and just expose my life or share my story it's because i believe that there are lessons that somebody can learn or somebody can be equipped to help another person so without further ado i'll just go straight into number five but first you need to subscribe you need to like and share this video with somebody so that it can be a blessing to them so number five my number five is sticking to an idea of a love story that i wanted so I wanted this love story of, oh, we met when we were kids, or at most teenagers, you know, we fell in love. I've known my husband since we were, you know, 16, 17, or something of the sort. So I had that idea, I built up that idea of the way I wanted my love story to go. So when I was in a relationship, I thought that would give me that kind of love story. I stuck to it even longer than I should have. And then even when we broke up, because we're no longer agreeing on key values, very important things in life we were no longer in agreement with them so we broke up but i realized that a part of me was still holding on to that relationship like oh maybe somehow you know there'll be a change and we'll come back together and i will be able to say you know that story that i had in mind so i was just holding on and it affected my decisions it affected even honestly it even affected my relationship with my husband because there was the part there was a time that maybe i wasn't putting in everything you know so that was a very big mistake that looking back I realized I didn't even know that I was leaving that mistake at the time so to anybody I just want to tell you that you have to be open-minded your love story doesn't have to be a certain way you don't have to be walking on the road or you're in a the library then your books will fall and he'll help you up then you look into each other's eyes and voila <laughs> You might not be the princess that the prince will come for or the prince the princess will come for. <laughs> Sorry to break your heart. You may not even meet in choir or as teenagers or whatever you have built in your head. Because when you build that idea in your head, what happens is that it shuts down real possibilities because you're sticking to this. But your love story will happen in its own unique way and it will be beautiful because it is your love story. So that's my number five mistake. Let's go to number four. So number four is blaming myself for another person's mistake. In a particular relationship, somebody did me dirty, like they actually did me wrong, right? And instead of like seeing that this person did me wrong, I said, you know how we do sometimes, or oh, what did I do to make them do this? What, am I not enough? Did I do something wrong? Well, look, look. We're imperfect, so there'll be times you will make a mistake. And I advise that you own it, you own up to it and make amends. But there are times that somebody else is doing you wrong. Don't take, don't blame yourself for another person's weakness. Because it will make you stay in a relationship longer than you should. It will make you look down upon yourself. It will make you to start even making unhealthy compromises sometimes. Because you're trying to keep them. When actually they did you wrong. So, yeah, my number four mistake, rather, was that I blamed myself for another person's mistake. And I shouldn't have, because it was theirs, not mine. <laughs> okay, so number three. So number three, I call it the I'm a see for myself situation. Number three, eh, hands down, is situationships. And this is what I mean. I don't know if you guys follow this lady on Instagram. She does, like, Christian skits. They're hilarious. And she uses the phrase, I'm a see for myself. <laughs> when you clearly know it will not end in praise. <laughs> it will not, it did not end in praise, guys. And for me, it was situations that I knew from the very beginning that this one is not going anywhere. Do you get? Like somebody approaches you and you know that you know that you know 
that we cannot end up married but i mean the emotions are there you know there's an attraction there's an excitement most times it's even beyond the attraction there's an excitement <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you you in particular <laughs> you know there's an excitement that comes with those kinds of situations there's a way the people make you feel and then even though you know that it will not end in praise <laughs> You now start investing emotions. Now, I'll give you an example without too many details. Maybe I'll share that another time. There was this actual situation I got into in law school. Law school, Lord. <laughs> there was this situation. I knew from the get-go that this one will not go well. It will not, it will not go anywhere, right? Because I knew that our core values didn't align. I knew that lifestyle didn't align. But I mean, it was a fine guy. <laughs> and I let myself... I was excited you know that whole butterfly excitement and so the situation because it even never was a relationship the situation she began and i started getting emotionally vested as well and then at a point when like we started drifting apart which was actually him you know they're paining me and i'm wondering like why is it paining you? you knew but then my emotions had gotten involved and then it will not be paining you that this person that I knew that will not marry. <laughs> this, I knew that I will not marry. You are the one that is not for me. Withdraw. Hey, God have mercy. So that situation, ship type of situation, the whole I must see for myself. Yo, guys. And funny enough, I did that more than once, unfortunately. But it really, really has no benefit. When you know, when your spirit knows that this person, we do not have core values aligned. I, we cannot hold the life that I know I'm going to live together. I can't hold it with you. You know, we're not going the same direction. There's no point starting it. That's what I'm trying to say. It's better that you don't even start it than to start knowing that there will be an end. And then by that time, you have emotions invested and it's harder to peel away or you're feeling pain or you've compromised. Nah, 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 nah. So that's my number three mistake. Oh, that was... My number three mistake number two okay this number two i i haven't really talked about this much but sometimes i think about it and it actually i actually feel bad and number two is mistreating a good guy because i didn't choose on the right parameters so i kind of dated I, well i dated yeah because i actually said yes but it was really short and i ended it and i didn't end it in the nicest of ways and I didn't end it on the base of the right things. I was just distracted by another person. And looking back, I realized that I didn't choose him based on the right parameters. I was just excited at the idea of him. I didn't actually get to know the person. And if I'd gotten to know him better, the this, this story, like, I wouldn't have treated him the way I did, right? We may not have even ended up together. Most likely not. But it will not have been the way I handled it, the way I hurt him. You know, I know that I actually hurt him. You know, he would call, he would, you know, all of those things. And I was just like, no. <laughs> and he was a good person. He honestly was a good person. So sometimes I look back and I actually feel bad. But yeah, we thank God for grace and forgiveness and for maturity. But that was my number, f yeah, number two. <laughs> that was my number two mistake. Mistreating a good guy because I didn't choose him based on the right parameters so your choice is important because if you don't choose on the right parameters you it would eventually lead to mistakes you know when the foundation is faulty the bible says what can the righteous do you know you can actually end up rebuilding but you have to scatter the foundation and start afresh and it's going to waste your time so choose rightly so that you don't meet future problems and my all-time number one mistake <laughs> Number one, number one, guys, if you read my book, Validation Junkie, I'll put a link on how you can get it in the description. But I share my number one mistake in that book. I feel like I should not share so that you buy the book, <laughs> but I'm nice. But anyways, you still get the book. But my number one was tying my value to whoever I was with, whether in a relationship or situationship. I had a way of tying my value to the person. So I felt good if I felt like, oh, the person was a good catch. And if not, you know, there's a way I don't really want to be seen with you in public. Well, no, that didn't really happen. But like, whatever you do would then really, really hurt me. It would affect how I viewed myself. I'll feel like I am not good enough for you. 
you know and then again that my number two mistake it was because of the idea of the person and the idea of the value that the person would give me that was why i dated the person not because i really took time to know the person or like the person do you get what i'm saying so tying your value to somebody is never a good idea it's never tying your validation your approval your affirmation to another human person another human being is even too much pressure on them it's too much pressure on them to keep up and i don't want to start going into validation addiction talk because you know me guys i will stop maybe another <laughs> i keep saying maybe another video see i have so much content for you guys but yeah tying your value to somebody else even in marriage if you're married here even in, yes i know that there is a lot of there's a lot that being married you share with your spouse and there's actually the affirmation your spouse gives that makes you feel good but you cannot tie your entire worth on your spouse or how they treat you because in their human days no matter how good they are they would have human days and when they have human days it will then affect you you know so that was my biggest mistake tying my value and my worth to the person that i was in a relationship with or to the relationship status itself so guys there you have it five of the biggest mistakes i made when it comes to relationship i don't think this is all who, if i think very well i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure there were others but maybe another time i'll do a follow-up but these are the five that came to mind so for next week video guys i want to do a um a get to know me video so i'm going to ask that if you have any questions about me put it in the comments i would see them and i would answer them you can also send me an email I would also put it on my Instagram and my Facebook. And then I'll just collect all the questions that come in. Either as a DM or whatever it is. And then I'll answer some of them depending on the number in my next video. So don't forget to come back next week, Friday, 12 noon, for Let's Talk Love with Bulugi Steven. I like that. Don't you guys like that? Hi guys, Let's Talk Love with Bulugi Steven. Eh. Okay. I need to go, guys. I just always love chatting with you guys. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and do all the beautiful things. Like this video. Like this video. Let's grow our community. Okay, till next week. Bye. I feel like you will. Paulina, reduce your voice, please. I'm almost done. I'm trying to see how I look before we start. Hey, this girl, so wake up. My decisions you get. You know, when I should have been... Okay, that dog was barking. I'm just going to go ahead. Because I don't know when it will stop. And I have limited time. <laughs> so, like... I'm done.